hello guys and girls welcome back to my youtube channel where we do analysis day trade analysis almost daily so first thing is i'm going to do analysis using the strategy that i have been telling you or teaching you throughout my videos and that's to trade only trending markets and to trade higher highs and higher lows for an uptrend and lower lows and lower highs for a downtrend now guys and girls before you proceed to trading and i should just say before you start doing analysis make sure you say to yourself i will only trade market structure for today and nothing else okay now here on volatility index this is a perfect example of the market that was on an uptrend movement and since we know that for an uptrend movement to be termed to be officially over the previous higher low has to be broken first so looking at this volatility 10 index right here is this uptrend market still on or still over how can we know this uptrend market is over because right here it is kind of not clear yet because right here we have no clear visible on one hour time frame higher low of this uptrend movement so let me go to the 30 minute time frame first to get a clear picture of this uptrend movement so that we can make informed and logical decisions so looking at this market right here let me first change to the market uh, let me first change to the line graph because on the line graph that's where we will get a clear picture market a structure without any brokers manipulations and on the line graph we can see that this market already did broke this previous higher low of this uptrend movement right here you see and this is why i always encourage my students to always use the line graph this specifically because uh, on the line graph you will get an unbiased and clear market structure moves that are clearly visible unlike when you go to the candlestick graph Do you get my point now since we already know that on volatility and index this uptrend market is over yet then we say since the forex clubhouse channel always say to trade market structure let me draw myself a market structure of the downtrend movement so that i can get uh, a reminder of any time that i'm about to trade if i'm trading according to the market structure because you may not win all the trades but in the wrong run monthly or maybe quarterly if you do your profit loss evaluation i bet you will still be on profit unlike those guys who trade just randomly so this is the market structure of a downtrend movement and we are going to trade only when the market comes to retest on the previous lower lows and lower highs of the downtrend movement and we know uh, for a downtrend movement the, when the market is uh, breaking the market structure of this downtrend movement then this previous lower high of this downtrend movement has to be broken first so i will just uh, put some words right here change of market structure so that can be of a reminder whenever i'm looking on volatility 10 index now this is the way that i normally do now let me go let me save this first and let me go to the 15 minute now on the 15 minute time frame on the 15 minute time frame right here we can see that the market is just on a very clear impulsive phase and we are no any entry right here but this since the market is on a downtrend make sure you put this for the Tilton index on your uh, watch list and uh, keep observing it throughout the US week so that you can get you can see how it moves even if you're not trading live just make sure for the sake of learning purposes just make sure you just observe this pair and do not forget our entry criteria we always say when the market comes to reach these kinds of levels right here always watch out for weak rejections because weak rejections are signs of traders exhaustion you can see for example right here when this market was still on an uptrend movement when the market came to retest this level right here it provided you with a candlestick that has a weak because this week shows that these short-term sellers that we are pushing this market downside are now weaker and the buyers on this uptrend movement are coming stronger so that was the perfect time for you to ride this existing trend 
for a re-entry in case you missed when this market was way below down this movement right here so guys and girls that's our uh, general picture or general uh, knowledge that you must put in your back of your head trading is just simple you are the one who is making it to be heard let me go to another pair and particularly let me go to volatility 10 1 s index now on volatility 10 1 s index we can see that on the 50 minute time frame the market is on a uh, downtrend since it is make it is always moving making series of uh, low lows and low highs but to get a general picture of this market i always recommend to start doing your analysis on the higher time frame so particularly on this um, market structure so particularly on this index right here i will start with the four hour time frame since we are day traders this strategy works best if you are a day trader and for, for those who with huge capital it can even work for swing traders but since i'm more of a day trader uh, the four hour time frame is more than enough for me to enter into this trade and right here you can see the market uh, was from a very 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 strong bearish impressive phase right here you can see very strong it was moving in an almost clear uh, as a straight line you can see there even there was not even a retest of, of any kind now the general picture of this kind of movements is you should know that when the market moves this way then the market must retest this movement such as this at least to 70 to 90 percent before actually proceeding to the downtrend direction now this uh, I came to of this knowledge throughout my years of experience when trading these synthetic markets. So I thought that I should share with you when the market moves clearly and sharply as this, just know the retracement of this kind of movement should be at least 70 to 90 percent. And for learning purposes, I would suggest that you put this volatility 10 uh, 1S index on your watch list and observe how the market will retest to this level and furthermore let me go first to the one hour time frame so that we can get a slightly um, picture of the market view that has been hidden on the four hour time frame and on the one hour time frame you can see uh, right here that this uh, downtrend movement was long broken according to our market structure of the downtrend movement because we can see the previous lower high of this uh, downtrend movement was broken right here when the market just broke and retested this level right here to form new higher highs and higher lows so particularly you can say that this uptrend market that was formed too was already broken when the market broke this level right here and you can say that we as day traders the market may have came to an end of retesting this uh, bearish impassive phase and we can say that since we are day traders and we can say that okay for today the market on volatility in one index may continue selling because technically we are on a downtrend now it is very uh, crucial to you know that not always is a trading day not every day is a trading day you just, just trade market structure and most of the times when i come to my charts i spend most of the times observing more than executing and that's why you may find i'm not tracking trades every day because if you want to force trades then in the long run you'll just lose your money you may get lucky taking bad trades once in a while and it is that behavior of forcing trades that will make you to keep taking bad trades because if you do take one bad trade and you win massively you will say oh let me try again in the next trade and what happens in the next trade you may get lucky but there is a high possibility that you will lose that trade and you will say but i won last time let me enter into those kinds of trade again you will deposit again and you will lose you will deposit again and you will lose and you keep saying forex is uh gambling forex is not profitable and all sorts of barbara but in the real sense it is what your mind the real sense the problem is in your mind because if you control your psychology and you say i know how the market structure moves like the market right here is retesting but i don't see any entry confirmations should i just intercell trade so that this market may not leave me avoid those kinds of mentality just wait for the market structure to form and 
execute your trades fearlessly guys and girls i hope you have learned a few things when discussing those two indices and i hope you have a nice trading day bye bye